morning youtuber welcome back to edge of the forest homestead and today i don't have any special projects to do but i'm gonna show off uh springtime here on the on the homestead springtime is coming it is almost here in the fall i came through and this i thought this was dead and i cut out a big center branch and i think that was just enough to jump start this because there was no blooms on this last year at all we're getting some new branches and i have no idea what this is no idea i think my wife's grandfather planted this years ago so that was cool all right so let's get to some of these chores Some of mama's seedlings there. She got rid of my game. And they are doing really good. One thing that's different is these little guys, they're not getting that poopy butt like the layers were. I don't think so. Let's see. Oh, oh it's okay. It's not too bad. They're not getting it. We were having to uh, clean the layers like every morning. Really like these uh, gravity feed uh, feeders. And... The gravity feed water I, they're not getting it as dirty as the layers were but uh it still needs to be cleaned daily but as far as the chicks i just make sure we don't have any casualties uh when they're chicks i just make sure they don't have poopy butt and they don't my kids i would make them come out here and do it with warm water and uh kind of wipe off them if they do get clogged up they can die from that it's kind of sad That was it, nothing to it. My hair is afroed out. Very humid right now. This is one of the uh, feeders for the layers. And right now, I'm just putting the feet on the ground. And I don't know if they're doing enough because I'm doing it twice a day now when they used to have um, free choice. So I think I'm gonna go back to the free choice. So I'm gonna fill this up. And hey, it kind of matches the car. But anyway, I'm gonna fill this up and I'm gonna take this down to the layers. Yummy. Yeah, they're just going at it. So what I think I'm going to do, I'm just going to leave that in there and fill that up. This is day three of them being outside. They're really, really tearing this down. We'll get this all cleaned up. Thank you, birds. Thank you, chicken. All right. So now it's time to head out to the barn. y'all doing out huh what are y'all doing out how come y'all ain't in the pen that's right i couldn't get y'all in the pen y'all was fighting arguing with me it was getting dark so i just left the gate open all right y'all ready come on goats so what i've been having to do is i have to get the goats out first and normally they're locked in the pen, but somebody didn't want to go in, even though y'all are fat. Yeah, you. Yeah. Y'all didn't. Y'all just wanted to keep on eating. Well, I have to get the goats out first, and that's what we're doing. And then I can come back and let the uh, the pigs out and feed them and all that good stuff. Come on, goats.
So this is a new uh, paddock that I made for them uh, yesterday. So this one is actually 50 feet this way and about 65 from that T post all the way to this T post. So this is our biggest one yet. And uh, this is a little irregular, so don't, I'll explain that in a minute. Along this fence line, there are wooden posts and there are T posts. So at every wooden post, that's where I'm making my cross fence. But I angled this one out a little bit because I just didn't have the heart to cut this down. I don't know what it is. I'm not about totally clearing the forest out. Um, where you want to just promote, you know, all plant life and still be able to run our animals. So I kicked it over and then uh, went back to where it should, should have been. And the goats are being goats. Layers down, meat birds down, they're pretty easy because they're still in the brooder. Goats are there, and now it's due time to do the pigs. The door is locked, and it's time to feed the pigs. Is I'll take their uh, food bowl out. I'm gonna need two hands for this. What I'm doing is I'm doing a two scoops of the feed and I'm adding a little bit of this DE diatomaceous earth because the pigs just got weaned from their mothers and I don't want worms. Pig 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 come on release the pigs pig 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 there's your feed right there pig 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 Pig, 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 pig. So those were our morning chores. Getting easier, and uh, I enjoy it. So we are done with the morning chores. The uh, Cornish Cross birds are fed and watered. So that's one down and it's really simple with them because they have the automatic water and the automatic feeder the layers are watered i cleaned out their water and i added their automatic feed so that uh didn't kind of stress them out so it's been two days where they've just been being fed twice a day so i'm going to leave that in there today to see how they do they don't act so crazy in the afternoon we have the goats out and they are feeding themselves and we have the pigs that have just been fed they are actually really, really tearing this up. So the reason that I started locking them out of their pen, one, is they're still pooping and peeing in there. And I've been adding just some uh, some loose hay on top just to uh, kind of cover everything up. And it's been helping with the smell because pigs can't stay in one place for too long or they're going to stink. So this is their training pen. And they're rooting it up pretty, pretty good. They've already made their way all the way out here. Uh, they're doing a really good job Already on going on day six of them being out here. I believe Today is Thursday. So we have all day Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday So this is the day of the six so five days and uh, they haven't got out They're respecting the electric fence and uh, We're doing really good. So as soon as they leave from here, I'm gonna show you my plan and uh, We've been using the goats and manpower to get this going is going to be the first area they're in and we did remove some of the trees that were crossing some of the other ones but if you look up we're still gonna have some shade I didn't base it off what you could see on the ground I based it what you could see in the canopy this is their first paddock that they're coming out in but it is an odd shape because all of this was go overgrown I'll probably put a link to our very first video when we got the goats of how overgrown this was so this won't be a paddock forever this is just the initial one for the pigs to come in and root up so we can get some grasses and just kind of clean it up even more than the goats have and uh, hopefully turn up all of these uh, pine needles as you get over here these are going to be the main paddocks it's nice and straight down the line it runs parallel to the fence when the pigs finish here i'm gonna give them 12 days in here just like the barnyard they're getting 12 days and here this is where it'll be permanent and i will remove this fence over here and this will be just open so that uh 
we can kind of get this uh this system going because i have to bring the goats in every night and put them in the barn now with the pigs being out once they get to this point here there's no more going into back in the barn but you're talking about 12 days in this one another six in there so you're talking about 18 days you know we're going to be well into spring and you can already tell you know we're getting green leaves already you know things are are, are starting i was looking for that you know it's already starting to green up i'm probably going to make some kind of pig shelter for him once they get in this paddock here the way it's going to work is there will be a gate here from this t-post to this t-post once the pigs are in here there will be another gate here to here which will lock them into this area and they will stay in here no longer than 12 days so they can root all this up and get the grass growing they'll be in here let's go find their ghosts we'll walk back to the goats like i said the goats will be over here or they might be in the next one it just depends on how much they eat and how much they're yelling and crying for me so my plan is once the goats are ready to go in for the night instead of trying to run them back through the pigs because i'm not going to be able to i'm going to open this outside gate let them through i'll probably put one strand all the way down to make a lane and i will walk them down to the barn that's the plan hopefully it works we'll see but our goats are really really docile and if i get some of those alfalfa cubes they will follow me anywhere all right remember like comment subscribe hit the notification bell all that good stuff so you never miss another video thank you